Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a, a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising, a weekly tarot reading October 28 to a uh, November 3rd, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, that is to be the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, we do have the Emperor card. Then the third one, it is going to be the positive aspect of your week, that is to be the uh, Ace of Cups. And the last one, uh, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering for you, Capricorn. That is to be the Tree of Swords. So uh, it's quite of a good week, guys. I mean, it, it looks like that, um, I would say, an unexpected fortune it is to come into your way. The problem is how you deal with it. But before we go into that, let's um, kind of like dive into the cards one by one. So Ten of Pentacles here accompanied with the seven of swords so uh these two cards are pointing of a uh, how can i say it of kind of like a uh, making your point in regards to a, a certain trust issues that you may experience with your partner with your colleagues with your suitor and etc etc it does look like that uh, there are to be how can i say it there are to be a bit of a differences in between what you want and how you expect things to move on from now on from what is going on in between you and these people or in between you and that situation itself that being said uh this week it looks like that you are to be more prone to indulge yourself with more stable things of one's life all right things that you can actually maintain control over and things that you're feeling secure steady and how can i say it uh more warned from them things that actually make sense for that reason uh, you are to exert more personal independence when it comes to the situation that kind of undermines your sense of trust in regards to the endeavor that you, that you are trying to have what you want. It is because it will require some certain storming and standing for one's rights and as well, how can I say, it, demands of what you really expect and what you really, really want. And it does represent kind of placing of a certain boundary right so you kind of like don't trust a certain person and until that person proves their trust proves that they're trustworthy you place a certain boundary in between you and them so you are opening a, a crack but this is going to be a good thing for you because you do have a plenty of things that you can indulge with you know while that person kind of or that situation kind of proves that they are worth your while so the next one stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here we do have the emperor card and is accompanied with the strength 
and uh, I can accolade you for it it's because the first couple of cards are pointing that you are pretty um, rough about it. What I mean is that you are making your points across that there will be no compromise with your standpoints of the trust thing or the virtual wild thing, all right? While in the same time with the challenging card, I can see how difficult that is to be with for you. It is because these cards here are points that you need to kind of like put your mind occupied with different things while you are persevering through patience not allowing your mind to be sweet talked out, you know, or changed by some small gestures or by some small endeavors, say, um, kind of performed by the person that you want them to build up trust with you or by uh, a small progress of the situation that you want to exert moving on forward. That being said, uh, it doesn't look like the challenging thing here. It is uh, once again to stand behind your words. So you do say what you expect and what you want. That is to be it. Okay. And while that is not accomplished, you are not going to do any step further. You are not going to lift your pinky finger, if you will for the improve not improvement but a um it's not improvement but it's for a proceeding forward i would say with future interaction of a suitor or a co-worker or a business partner or a of a, a future performance in regards to a endeavor that can take place either regarding your career or either regarding your relationship so what this the challenge here uh, really stands for it is that you need to show yourself reliable and structured but not towards that person or toward that endeavor but toward yourself you need to show that you stand behind the your words of what you want and how you want it that is to be the challenge and you should not do that with um, kind of like a uh, aggressive nature right you need to know here that rather showing indifference and calmness is going to hurt or is going to motivate even more than showing aggression and showing how much you care. So the next card, it regards to the positive aspects of the week, and that is going to be the Ace of Cups accompanied with the Ten of Cups. So we do have a, an enterprise appearing, a new enterprise that may have nothing to do all right, with uh, the first two cards here, the thing or the person that needs to build up trust um, in regards to you or needs to prove that it worth your while. That is for a reason being, it is that a, a current worries uh, when that enterprise appears here, uh, are worries that you do have are going to simply lose their relevance because you kind of indulging yourself with this new enterprise is going to transcend your reality, is going to offer you a lot of sensual joy, exhilaration, you know, content and etc, etc. And above everything else here, all of a sudden your life is going to start worth living again. So maybe if it is related to the situation of this person, or to the situation itself with the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of uh, Swords, that means that uh, as you have changed your attitude toward the person or toward the situation, that was the necessary move you had to do in order to make them be more devoted, okay? In order to kind of, it is that snap in their head showing them, well, that is either now or never showing them that I really need to do my part in it or I, I really need to kind of show how much I care, for example, as you show that you don't care anymore, all right? You, you cared up until this moment and there was no progress whatsoever. So now you need to stop caring and attend to different stuff and let them do uh, their part. <clears throat> But nonetheless, this week for you, Capricorn, is going to be quite productive and, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, and quite, uh, how can I say it, a quite sort of a uh, positive one for a reason of these two cards here because your emotional state above everything else is going to be significantly improved because it's going to be overflowed with love and i'm not talking about love in toward a another person it could be but it may not be because these two cards here are strongly suggesting love toward life itself so it is likely that your business is gonna go 
awesome your relationship life is gonna go, go awesome and because everything is going very well for you and is developing and very well from you this person or a situation that it's kind of like they they need to prove themselves in front of you are gonna see and understand that you can live without them okay and you are ready to live without them which is going to be that momentum they need this um how boost it's not even boost but more like a reason they need to prove themselves in front of you and the last card that we do have it is the tree of swords uh, that is to be the guidance accompanied with uh, the uh, wheel of fortune so formation it is a active friends and that formation it's kind of like um it's difficult for me to describe it but it's out of um well, I would say that uh, guidance wise, you had to corner or kind of like you had to strip off everything of this situation of person had so they can understand this is their last chance. All right. This is uh, after this, there is no more um, hope that they can make the cooperation with you or that this situation is to keep on uh, keep on improving in either way. A situation I say because there there could be more than one person <clears throat> that is involved into this uh, into this endeavor and uh, these uh, final cards as a guidance points that a desperate times calls for desperate measures and the desperate measures are exactly what are to kind of provoke this once in a lifetime for the situation or for the person change that they need it in order to foresee how much they are to lose if they don't do something about it, something regards to you, if they don't step toward you. So that being said, a Capricorn, this was your weekly tarot reading, October, 10, uh, um, October 28th to uh, November 3rd, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.